is an art throwdown. We've never been here before as Ravenwood. Um, there's three teams. We've got drawing, painting, and sculpting. And a group of four comes together and create art with twists. It's a great creative challenge where artists come together to problem solve uh, art challenges. Each of the schools receives a subject matter. They're all working on the same subject and it lends itself to a lot of creativity. There are some guidelines, but there are different components and different areas that each of the schools will compete in. So it was uh, the Lunar New Year recently and the theme we had it in a fortune cookie and it was the power of like a positive change. And then we had two board members, uh, Drayson Beasley and uh, Rick Wimberly that came in. And in addition to that, Rick actually served as the model for the, uh, the, the portrait portion of that, which involved students drawing pictures of him as well as using clay to sculpture. The second round I got him to where he was standing and leaning on the, the stool. So I got his knee up on the stool, I actually sculpted legs this time, and then got some glasses and added more detail to the hair because I was really trying to capture that flow that was going on. This is such an exciting opportunity for artists here in Williamson County. It's a great opportunity for our artists to come together um, and not only to be able to create, but to spend time together and to showcase what can really be done. It was great to have other people around me that are interested in doing the same thing as me and just be in an environment with other people that are here to do the same thing. My favorite part is just seeing them so happy and at first they're a little nervous about coming to these events, but they learn very quickly that it's really fun to be able to spend time together and to work in groups. And once they get into it, they don't want to stop and they want to do it again next year. Everyone is disappointed. It's not fun. I talk to my students about disappointment and what that means. It means you don't always get your way. I also share that they have choices when they don't get their way. We think through our responses and understand we have a choice to respond in a variety of ways if we only stop and think. One of the questions I ask is, why is it good to be disappointed? Whoa, what? The students think this is a strange question, but we have an opportunity to pause and to think about why it is good to not always get your way. Also, we discuss the difference in disappointment and anger. Anger is a possible response to disappointment, but not the only choice. Disappointment is inevitable in our lives, and I want my students to know they have a choice in their response. Stop and think. Is it nice? Is it kind? You have a choice in your response. Press pause and then choose wisely. Today is our second grade wax living museum. The students chose a famous American and they were given some parameters and questions and they had to research their person at school. At home they were required to take the information they learned at school and put on a trifle poster, dress and character for today's museum and parents were invited to come and listen so they are actually a statue standing very still until an adult comes and presses their little sticker button that says press and then they read their report and then they go back in character and they're very still. It's like kind of like the real wax museum except it's people like real. I think most of my kiddos love pretending to be someone else. I really like trying on my costume first and like see how I look in it. That was probably the funniest for me. I think the favorite part is you know the kiddos that are going to love researching and love making posters at home and love presenting, but it's those kiddos that are very shy, not real sure about what the day's gonna look like, and to see them today when parents come in and adults they may not have seen before, they just rise to the occasion and they are so proud of what they've done. We are at Hunter's Bend and we are having our stream night. Some of the stations that we're going to have tonight is we have Bebop, we have a bowling multiplication game, we have student made math games where the students themselves worked either alone or with a group of students to create their own games. We have reading activities, we have engineering activities, lots of math fun. Our book fair is tonight as well. 
My favorite thing about Stringa is oh, hanging out with all my favorite people and hanging out and having the best time oh. ever. The math problem is you just knock a bunch of pins down and have to answer a bunch of math problems. I especially like the multiplication and divisions ones. I like how it has like all these different things. You can do it all the different categories. And it's fun to sort of explore. I created my own game for stream night. I did go to the book fair and that was my favorite thing. We're in the odd room painting with all sort of stuff like Legos. We've been painting with utensils and stuff, and even we've been painting with magnets. This is actually our very first dream night here, so we are hoping that they just have a great time and they use all those skills that we teach them and we just continue this tradition starting this year. I hope that the kids, first of all, just have so much fun that they want for us to be able to do this again and for us to expand upon it and hope that they learn that love for reading, math, science, technology, and know that they can do it with just simple items that they can find around the house. I've had so much fun at Hunter's Bend first stream night.